Ever wondered how the experiences of a young boy from Missouri shaped the voice of a generation? Let's delve into the early life of Langston Hughes. Born in the winter of 1902 in Joplin, Missouri, Hughes was raised by his loving grandmother, whose stories of abolitionists left a lasting impression on him. These tales not only sparked Hughes's interest in racial issues, but also fueled his passion for storytelling. As a high school student, Hughes discovered the transformative power of poetry. He found solace in the rhythm of words and the freedom they offered to express his thoughts and emotions. Upon graduation, Hughes set his sights on the bustling city of New York. It was the Roaring Twenties and the Harlem Renaissance was in full swing. Hughes arrived in New York eager to contribute to this cultural revolution. The young man from Missouri was now in the heart of the cultural revolution, ready to make his mark. How did a single individual become the voice of the Harlem Renaissance? The answer lies in the powerful words and rhythmic verses of Langston Hughes. A leading figure in the Harlem Renaissance, Hughes used his poetry as a platform to reflect the black experience in America, giving voice to a community often unheard. His poems, like The Negro Speaks of Rivers and I Too Sing America, are rich with symbolism, painting a picture of resilience and strength. But Hughes did more than just write about the black experience. He gave it a rhythm, a beat. Drawing inspiration from jazz music, he infused his poetry with a unique tempo that resonated with the pulse of Harlem. This blend of music and poetry created a vibrant new form of expression that was distinctly African-American. Hughes's words echoed through the streets of Harlem, capturing the soul of a movement and the heart of a community. His influence on the Harlem Renaissance remains a testament to the power of words to inspire change and create cultural identity. How did Langston Hughes' work continue to resonate beyond the Harlem Renaissance? Hughes's later years were marked by a dedication to social issues and a prolific output as a writer. He turned his sharp wit and keen observation to a weekly column in the Chicago Defender, where he offered commentary on everything from politics to popular culture. His writings continued to inspire and influence future generations of writers, opening doors for diverse voices in American literature. Hughes's later works such as Ask Your Mama 12 Moods for Jazz showcased his innovative blend of poetry and jazz and his continued dedication to celebrating African-American culture. Even after his death in 1967, Hughes's influence didn't wane. His work was posthumously recognized with a major collection of his poems, winning the first National Book Award for Poetry. Hughes may have left us in 1967, but his voice, his spirit and his influence live on. So, how does the journey of Langston Hughes resonate with us today? Let's take a moment to reflect. Born in Joplin, Missouri, Hughes's humble beginnings set the stage for an incredible journey. He became a pivotal figure in the Harlem Renaissance, shaping the cultural and artistic revolution with his poignant words and powerful voice. His poetry, novels and plays continue to inspire, challenge and captivate us, offering a profound exploration of race, identity and social justice. In the face of adversity and societal constraints, Hughes established a legacy that outlives him. His influence echoes in the corridors of literature, resonates in our understanding of the human experience, and reverberates in the call for equality and justice. Today, as we navigate our own challenges and triumphs, Hughes's work serves as a reminder of the power of resilience, the importance of authenticity, and the transformative potential of art. Langston Hughes, a boy from Missouri, a voice of Harlem, a beacon for generations. His words, his journey, his legacy, a testament to the power of the human spirit.